Welcome. <laughs> Look at that smoke linger over there. Uh, welcome to the first ever Getting Dug with High at the UCB Theater on Sunset Boulevard. Let's hear it for the, the new space. It's 4.15 Pacific time, and we're going to be smoking with five guests in, uh, in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess if you're in the audience here at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater and you have a vapor pen, I think maybe you could probably give that a poke if you're discreet about it. <laughs> Just be cool. Some of you might be wondering why I have a book. I decided I might want to do some reading while this show is going on. <laughs> I'll tell you more about this book in a, uh, a little bit. And um, I don't know if there's any other business to take care of, really. Let's, let's, get, uh, let's get the five guests out here. Please give a big warm welcome to Greg Proops, Todd Glass, Megan Neuringer, Chris Porter, and Daniel Kino. to I'll be sit seated. On the table. <laughs> what, what's Todd up to oh, already? Well, what's that lovely. you put there? You put all your dates right there? You think we're gonna get it? You think we're gonna get a good shot of that? Well, they probably do unless the camera guy's out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> so uh, there may be a little high. So uh, <laughs> you don't want me to mention your credits then at the end? Oh no, do I should. I think it'd be better to have him on a wrinkled piece of paper on that stool <laughs> for the entire show than to hear me say them out loud. You, you know and Give them that endorsement. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ah oh, shit, that's gonna bother me. Todd Glass, everybody. Thanks for coming by, Todd. It'd be funny if you had to kick that all the way home. Yeah. Um, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, Doug. Have you smoked yet today? I have not. I, matter of fact, I, uh, I well, no. <laughs> I was going to say I didn't smoke last night, but I ended up, I did. <laughs> Well, let's go here? ahead and uh, meet everybody good. out of order, if that's all right with you. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I predicted exactly that you'd sit in this chair and that Greg Proops would sit on the other end. Greg Proops, everybody. I didn't know how the three in the middle would shake out, but I knew that the person who needs the most attention would sit I'll, in this seat. I'll sit somewhere else. And that the person who needs the least amount of attention would sit in the farthest seat. Don't worry about it, Todd. You're paranoid I I, already? I do. I get paranoid. You're already paranoid? Can, uh, can, can I ask one question? It's so can early. We, we haven't even started our game. Here's what you can win, Todd. Is it a little hot in here? Yeah, yeah take off all your clothes. No, can we turn the air down? Is there someone here? Click it down a few degrees to cool it off in here, right? Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you say click down the air. <laughs> can we click it down a little bit, you guys? We well, need to cool it off in here. We need to click it down. My family was in the air conditioning business, so I use a lot of hip terms. <laughs> Uh, it's it's 19 minutes after the hour, so uh, I'll introduce the rest of the guests in a moment. But uh, let's get a bag going. We've got some uh, volcano vapor bags. 
And we've got uh, Thank you. we've got a couple different strains we're going to be uh, smoking today. They're on a card in here somewhere. Are you, are you still too hot? Click it, click it down. Click it down. Click it down. The sativa today is called Blue Jay, and the indica is a 310 OG. And I have no idea which is which. But uh, yeah, we're going to smoke a little bit of both. Thank you. One of these is an indica. One of, <laughs> One of them might be an indica. That's Daniel Kino, everybody. I'm the host that introduces the lady last, like as in the movie credits when it says, and introducing. It's very elegant. <laughs> because Chris Porter is here, you guys. And Megan Nuringer. Todd, what are you trying to do? Nothing. I'm having fun. <laughs> but you were just pointing to someone over here, going, "Excuse me," like you're going to ask somebody to do something. Yeah, I was going to ask them if they turn the air down. <laughs> Wait, you still you air? still think nobody's heard you say to click hey, it down? I've had it happen. Where afterwards they go, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I see the crowd waving themselves. I'm going to fix the whole crowd's going to, in 10 minutes, they're going to be like, you know what? I didn't like Todd Glass, but now I do. He's right. <laughs> fucking turn the motherfucking air down. <laughs> click it down. Let's fucking get it done. I don't know. Now they'll get it done. There's someone in the back. Is, is he serious? Yet? No, it's hot. Can you see people waving themselves? No, other than that, I'm good. <laughs> Can't you see people exactly waving themselves? Nobody's waving themselves. Uh, Look she at waves woman. herself day and night. <laughs> I found, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I, she was in the front row at a show of mine, and she waved herself the entire time. And afterwards, she said, I just have to do that. That's how I am. Right? Yeah. yeah. She has to wave herself. Now you make her feel bad about it. I make her, no, I don't. I make her feel good about it because she's like, he's like me. We're, now we're getting along. I don't think she likes me, though. Were you in the first row last night? Uh, yeah, I saw I, you. No, I think it was just like, <laughs> I just didn't want to see you with your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> no one does. All right. Okay, okay. That makes okay that's animals. enough, wavy lady. <laughs> Thanks for coming, wavy lady. What's your name, actually? Chelsea. Chelsea, OK. Uh, Megan? I like it warm. <laughs> I, don't, I think, I think Americans are bloated and too comfortable, and we should suffer a little bit and get it, keep it warm, you know? Get, build some character. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Uh, you dressed for the, uh, yeah, for, the yeah. for the hot room. Good it's call. Hot. It's yeah, hot. smart, smarty. Yeah. Yeah. The rest of us have the long pants on. Todd can't go out anywhere without showing a little of his sleeve off there, right? A little show off a little ink. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever go in and have those like uh, you know? Do you ever say, could you click this down a few notches? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, this is fun already. <laughs> oh, man. It feels cooler in here now. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely, I feel a breeze. <laughs> Chris feels a breeze. Maybe Ready to fly a kite? <laughs> By the way, if you hear air conditioning, they try to trick you here, they have a CD of air blowing, and they play it through the, through the PA. <laughs> Now that is a special kind of paranoid. <laughs> you know, they've got to sex this up a little in the future years. <laughs> there's, such, there's such a spent feeling to it after you're done. And it, shouldn't the bags be mylar or something, like Andy Warhol, so they're reflective, or you know, something that kind of. You feel like when you're holding one and it's done, you feel like Frank Oz in the beginning of the Blues Brothers, yeah. when he's giving him back all of his stuff, and one of them's a used prophylactic. Yeah. Right. This is, in essence, a giant used prophylactic. Uh, Todd, you're, you're a stage manager of stagecraft and a set decorator of high renown. Yes. You, you have to agree that these could be aesthetically be better looking. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I just, no, I just turned, oh. 
Oh no, it would just be great if you could get like them sponsored, so you could get some nice sponsorship <laughs> stickers. Oh yeah, on them. we could NASCAR up the bag. Yeah. That's true. Right, NASCAR. Wow. You know, you're high, sponsored by corporation. That's or a great idea. What if they idea. made it out of pot edible? Yeah. And then you fucking you suck it, and then you're just like, ah, right. yeah. pot what? underwear. Because it already is kind of like a, got a kind of fruit roll-up vibe to it. Right. But. Yeah, it does. <laughs> It's like but the trouble is, is but how many bags? Do you, how many bags do you do before you eat it, though? Well, I guess it's you know. really up to you, isn't it? <laughs> I'd be so tempted to eat the goddamn thing, but I also, you know, these bags last a while. Or your buddy that doesn't smoke pot, you get him stoned and you'd eat it before you, it was empty. <laughs> how often do you get someone who's never smoked pot stoned? I don't know. Anymore. People tend to want me to get them stoned. They want you to be their They're first like, oh, time. I don't smoke a lot of weed. Let's get high. And then they do, and then they start crying, and they throw <laughs> up. And That's then... my nightmare. I would say no to that. I don't want to be your first time. We need sex, I don't know if you've ever driven down it. Franklin with a guy throwing up out of your convertible, but it's a fun day. You drive a convertible? I, yeah. I, I live in the Southern California. Plan. I can't believe you still talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, I also it think up. it was organic. Plan. It also doesn't sound that bad that someone was throwing up out of a convertible. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds like the windows were all down. down. It was tough. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> For him, it was Fury Road. Uh, <laughs> Great Proops has got a book, you guys. <laughs> the smartest book in the world. A lexicon of literacy, a rancorous reportage, a concise curriculum of cool. I like it. That's a what lot. do you think, Todd? You want to read your first book? Of alliteration. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it makes me? Never mind. Make this your first book. Gr- I fucking love him. I will and loan it every- to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I think your next book should be called I'm Right, You're Wrong, Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> because I feel that way. Whenever Greg has it, yeah, if I have a problem and I'm upset about something, I call Greg. If he agrees with me, I go, I fucking knew I was right. Yeah. Somehow I. <laughs> I think this. I fucking knew I was right is a good title, Tim. Yes. <laughs> oh, you may take your leave. You may, <laughs> you may take your leave. You may take your leave. You may now. take your leave. Uh, uh, this, if I do do a sequel, it'll be the second smartest book in the world because I don't think there's a stupider title for a book than the second smartest book in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out May 5th since we're in the plugging area now. Well, you can pre order it if you wish. Oh, it's well, not out yet. Yeah. The reason yeah. Daniel said may you take your leave one time, and Greg was being super nice to this girl who walked over after a comedy festival, it's all comedians hanging out, and he was super nice, trying to say, just chill out. You can, you, but she was being aggressive and mean, and he tried to deal with it two times nicely. The third time she said something aggressive, he goes, you may take your leave. <laughs> and you know what? You would think she'd go, what? She fucking took her leave. Like, <laughs> It's like, you know, good day, sir. Yeah, you may take your leave. She's like, oh, you guess I should. You, you have our permission to withdraw. <laughs> oh, well, okay, all right, my leash. Uh, uh, oh, Whoa. what was that? Oh, that's a vapor pen, which I will use because the uh, volcano bags need to be reloaded. Uh, thank you very much. What a group. Look at you guys. You all look great. Look at them. They're looking great. They're watching us get high. Is everybody here high, too? Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Greg, for the book. In there. Do you want a little, little snookle? I'm going to read the shit out Hi, of it. Wait, oh, it feels great in here now, by the way. Greg. What, darling? Oh, you really I like have... it? Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, all right. I have a question about I your I told book. you there was a breeze. Yes, Megan. Wow. Was it, where is it ideally meant to be read? Well, I mean, I don't think you read it all in one go. It's not like a novel or whatever. Is it a toilet book? Um, yes, I think you could read it in the toilet if you were comfortable with doing things like that. Uh, I think that's more of a guy thing, isn't it? Do women really read a lot on the toilet? Oh, okay. Oh, my God, that's where I get all my information. No, no but yeah, yeah. You take information and you eliminate things, and that's what makes it fun, I think. <laughs> yeah, you can read on the toilet, right? I don't think you read it from beginning to end unless you're obsessive. Okay. It's more, it's more, there's just a bunch of different stuff. Do you like, 
<laughs> it's like a game. Isn't that the best? They just fill it up. Yeah. They'll keep bringing them. I don't know. He waves. No, in no, other, in no other situation is that going to happen, so I'm going to take full advantage. What are you waving for? Uh, don't get poked in the eye, you guys. Watch and be careful. I, that's why I said it. It went right into her eye. I, Come on. Put your helmets on, you guys. I'm going to do another one. Whoa. These are dangerous. Okay, one more. <laughs> I got it, I win! Mine! You okay? You're high, but you're not really high, right? But you're not really high. Mark, are you all right? Yeah. Let's, check all right? In on, let's check in on Daniel Kino. How you doing, buddy? I'm great, buddy. You doing all right? Yeah. Okay. I like it. The less I say, the more this feels surreal. <laughs> At some point, it's just going to be like completely disconnected, which I want to enjoy the most, and no one else will. <laughs> you ever notice the times that you were like enjoy oh, drugs the most? That's for like the times like other people were like you were a little out of control. You're like, oh, I finally <laughs> had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> show and uh, we're heading back to the hotel and we have cigarettes. He goes, oh, we gotta get cigarettes. And I go, no, we don't need cigarettes. He goes, can't have fun without cigarettes. No, I, I, that's well, what I smoked. I didn't say that. I go, I go, you. Daniel, let's go after our show. We'll smoke some cigarettes. He goes, I'm trying to quit smoking. I go, I thought we were gonna have fun. <laughs> you dumb. How you doing? It's the same thing. Yeah, I got no, not in the movie. Mine would get in <laughs> if it was a scene. <laughs> anyway, everything's fine. <laughs> Thank Try you. that uh, uh, vapor pen. Need. It's a pretty good one. Things are about to be God, that is that pen. Me. I don't know why they're passing around those bags. That some pen is honey fucking farm. The, in that's there. like serious <laughs> shit. Uh, the most. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna regret that. Oh, there you go. Just doubling up. Yeah. I have to say. <laughs> I've never used. <laughs> I have to say hi to uh, Missouri. The great state of Missouri uh, for having the most viewers per capita of the uh, last show that we did. Uh, go Mo! That I don't. They don't. Todd, say don't that. put that under your arm like that. I'm good. I don't. I don't need to smoke from your armpit bag. I don't think I did. I. I don't remember doing. You it. forgot to hit it. Wow. That's yummy. Technically, uh, you know what's funny about this? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's something else. You like how big that hit is? Yeah. This is like. Wow. Getting high with an orchestra, man. <laughs> This is a clarinet, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Play it, Daddy O. Wow. Ooh, you get the magic. Look at you it. You get the Art. magic. Yeah. Cool boat. <laughs> well done, Missouri, huh? Whale on that thing. <laughs> Rick, do you remember the first time you got high? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You mean today or ever? Um, I was probably like 16, and we we went out, I think, behind the house. I'm from San Carlos, California, uh, which is an extraordinarily white municipality south of San Francisco, and uh, home of the Plain Yogurt Festival. <laughs> and, you know, PYF, man. <laughs> and we went out behind my buddy's house, and I didn't get high the first time. I think it takes uh, two or three times to, you know, to break down. Some people get high immediately. I did not. It took two or three times, and then I got high. And then I remember being like, of course, the time-space continuum is the first thing you notice. Yeah. Uh, that and the fact that this is 70s weed, so it was probably Colombian red or gold, and uh, your mouth got really dry, and uh, you, your nose ran. You know what I mean? It was like strong-ass weed. It, it had bugs in it sometimes and sticks and shit. And uh, what it was very strong. This? this is what? 76. Whoa. Primordial. Dude. <laughs> at a Cheech and Chong concert, bitch. Uh, <laughs> is, there, 
gonna say 1956, no, man. <laughs> oh. Hey, guess what? The world didn't begin and end when you were fucking born, oh, post MTV. <laughs> Fights. But that's why it was. That oh, was, ooh, he was Colombian. Wow. Red, you know? <laughs> 70s yeah. weed. 70s weed was different. It wasn't as strong as now. And like, if you got purple or, or Maui or whatever, that was the strongest, highest end or tie stick. And it really came on a stick and it was wrapped up. That's the one thing missing from dispensaries is like they don't have the old-fashioned old tie stick. Heirloom weed, like the tomatoes. Right? I love oh, yeah. it. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so nice. Colombian red with real crickets. Like artisanal. Oh my God, people like. But that's people what you love lose that. when when you go legal and yeah. money gets big, money gets involved, corporations get involved. You 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 lose that sort of you know art, artist touch. Yeah, there's a lot of corporations involved. They will be. <laughs> yeah, man. And yeah, that Disney weed <laughs> it is the bomb. <laughs> I didn't mean to be harsh on you, dude. I'm sorry. The, the first time that I got high, I, no one told me I was. Hey, what do you guys want to do later? Go ahead, Ty. What, what did I? What happened? The first time. You first got time high. you got high. Oh yes. Well, I, I pull out a podium. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you didn't like that. Maybe I shouldn't finish the story. That, I, I close with the best joke. I open with it tonight, what I usually close with. So if you didn't like that, I didn't. No one told me it made you hungry. I thought people should do that. I'm thinking maybe like a movie or some dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever told uh, your uh, brownie story on the show? Yes. Uh, yes, he did. Shit. He's been on the show. This is your, probably your sixth time, Well, right? eight. Oh. Uh, no, I don't know. What do I know? Who's Have counting? you guys ever tried sugar fish? All right, no. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, sugar fish? I was trying fish. to carry the bit along. Yeah, yeah, I think I, I, yeah. I, think I did it yeah. too early. Yeah. Fine. I've always, oh. When was the first time you got high, Todd? <laughs> I went to tell, but then I feel like, uh, Wait, what? Uh, ha something happened. Somebody. So the first. Uh, this is like a joke, right? <laughs> well, there are there are there are five comedians on stage. Right. So you might get interrupted three well, more I'm, times. I'm, I don't mind. I, you, I don't mind getting interrupted. That's I do that myself a lot. Hey guys, um, but, don't tell Todd that the energy shifted for sure. <laughs> Shifted and he felt it, but he didn't feel it at the right time. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, fine. Do you find that there's an increasing sense of paranoia as you get yes, higher and Yes, yes, I'm very paranoid, that, uh, <laughs> and it's scary. And you want to be around people when you're paranoid that hug you, not like go, yeah, oh I my god, think, he's lost. Like, I don't okay, think these are those be people. nice. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't nice. Hey, thank you. Oh, thank you. See? No, no, why would I want to smoke more? Is it weird now? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Okay. It's a little awkward. <laughs> Keep smiling. No, that's Keep need. shining. Uh, see, that's nice. Tom, no, we're not even. Always down on me. We're not even a third of the way through this thing. I know. Oh. That's why I'm calming down a little. Yeah. Todd what already wants to stop. <laughs> do we have the, do we have the rights to We gotta stop or they gotta pay rights. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do we have the rights I think we'll be all right. Yeah, I don't think, no, it's okay at this point. We may have to go back and, and remove Cut it. Cut it out. The uh -oh, first I'm time sorry. I got Put high. Put a long bleep in. The first time I got high, I did it with my buddy who had gotten high before but was an idiot. And uh, we would cross the street and every time a car would pass, we, he would make us just freeze. <laughs> just like, we'd be walking and we just, yeah. <laughs> and then the car would pass and be like, we're cool. <laughs> That's like, like the highest thing you can do. Right? He was like, yeah. the cops won't do anything if you're just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the cop oh, drives by like, oh. am I high? Um, what was that? Yeah, yeah. If you're both, if you're both like in motion, the cop's kind of like, wait, <laughs> is this Twilight Zone? <laughs> Is everybody froze right now? Bernice, Bernice, it's it's happening again. Um, what's the deal on time? Where are we? Got, are we good on time? It's, it, keep, it keeps moving whether we like it or not. That's the deal. Yeah, we can. 
cannot get high enough to stop time. Uh, so let's, uh, as long as we don't have to go to the first break yet, let's uh, do some pot topics. Pot topics. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this pen. This pen's just gonna fall off every time. But what a great advertisement for the durability of whatever the fuck pen that is. Oh yeah. It's great for like when there's intruders in your home. <laughs> I dropped my gun! I dropped my gun! That was a gun! <laughs> is gravity a big problem for you? Well, try this vape pen. <laughs> What are you girls talking about? What are you hens up to? Are you cool? <laughs> yeah, are you cool? Am I cool? Yeah. Yeah, are you cool? I'm cool. <laughs> I thought you were cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Todd, huh? uh, what was the first thing we smoked pot? I can't talk about it for legal reasons. <laughs> no one told me that it made you hungry, so... Uh, my friends, my friends went to sleep, and what I ate was like, no one told me, I was like, uh, uh, pudding, and I didn't wait for it to be done, I put it on ice cream, pop cart. So I woke up, I had two black eyes, and my friend's girlfriend was like, what happened to you? I go, I couldn't stop eating. And to the point where I had to go, okay, there's no more room. Like, my, my mind was hungry, but my stomach had no more room, and I'm like, having to go, I should have done this before, you know? How old were you? Why did you have black eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Radio business, I know how to tell a story. And we'll find out right after this break. <laughs> That's the way you do it. You leave. Uh, because I threw up from eating so much. You threw up, but yeah, were you hitting yourself in the face? <laughs> when you're, you throw up, your, your eyes kept hitting the knobs on the sink. <laughs> and you hit your face? Like when you're throwing up, you hit your face on something? For comedy you purposes, You were like, you I'll felt so stupid about confusion. what you done that you just punched yourself in the face a yes. bunch of times. I punched myself in the face. You, no, or seriously, you, you just come from Fight right. Club? I was like this, I hate myself for vomiting, and then I punched myself in the face. No, you're right. And then you said, at some point, you, you smoked pot again after exactly. that. Exactly. But you're like, let's do that again. Not right away. <laughs> you can vomit and break blood vessels. That's in case there's two people that were like, I don't know the vomiting still anymore. If you vomit so violently, it blows out your veins <laughs> in your eyes, is what you're saying. So you were like, Holy Christ! That's the first time ever. Yeah. And you did it again? Whoa. Oh. I did cocaine once, it was the worst experience ever, and I walked the fuck away from it. But you're okay, a I'll tell you why. Because, and I have a good answer, because up to that point, it was amazing. I remember laughing so hard, and then I thought all I have to do is not do, make sure I'm not eat that much, have someone around me. So it's not like I had to go, oh, I can never smoke pot again. No, I can put some restrictions on myself. You just need a spotter. Exactly. <laughs> More of a, Next time, easy, more of a stopper. Easy. Easy. Stopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, ben, so you wake up with a hernia, <laughs> and your head's in a, in a, in a turban. Oh, <laughs> and then I, uh, so when I get outside, there was a, a baby, like, literally left. No, I'm just kidding. I wanted to make the story like take a sudden. People are like, oh, this is a good story. Wow. Uh, is this Thank like a, the first time Charles Dickens got high or whatever? <laughs> there was a baby on the stoop, you said? Well, I wanted the story, like whenever you tell a story and it's boring, and then when you get to the end, you just add something like, yeah. and then I fucking found $10,000. People are like, what? <laughs> Well, that, was, that was a great story. Oh, it was? Well, I don't know. I have so many stories, I get lost. Did you get beat up last night? No, I vomited really hard. <laughs> I still you know. don't know that that's possible. Yes, it is. Give yourself a black eye It is. Vomiting. Trust me, I was there. I got high with a pugnacious monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Google what Wait, pugnacious means. How old means. were you, though? I was an adult. How old? 30. You were... <laughs> Why is that funny? Because you picture that's a 21-year-old. Oh, a teen. 16. A teen. 16? Oh, no. 
<laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. All right, I'm going to tease the pot topic because coming up after the break, we're going to talk about my number one public enemy. Wow, Nancy Grace. No, this someone's taking the lead. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a great tease. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm not. I think we're on the topic that came up on uh, on Twitter. If we can, uh, I think we might be able to see it on the screen. If you had to switch places with the lead character in one movie, Jenny, uh, what movie or who would that uh, person be? If you want to know what my immediate reaction in my head was, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's the first thing that That's popped into my head. That's the part you would like to then play. You know how much time that T-Rex had character? to spend just standing in front of green screens? <laughs> yeah. That poor dinosaur. That poor dinosaur. <laughs> can you make the T-Rex noise? That one. We got shut down by the man. There was something in the YouTube uh, algorithm. algorithm where a robot decided that it saw something that it wasn't supposed to be happening bad. on YouTube yeah. and shut us off. I just That's never scary, right? remember that there's a whole world out there. Like, <laughs> there ever. Is, there's a whole galaxy. I mean, well, that's universe. true. There's a galaxy behind us yeah. and a whole internet starting right here and then going out. Trippy. I don't get it at all. <laughs> Have a seat, prepare yourselves, settle down. <laughs> Quiet down, simmer it up. Get a wrench, tighten it up. Take them out, wash them up, bring them back in. Well, let's get started. Pot topics. We're back. Yeah, we're back. We uh, we teased a pot topic before the break, and uh, are you T-bowing? Todd's, <laughs> Todd's T-bowing. Todd's T doing a series of classical poses. <laughs> His first one's called the shoe tire. <laughs> Yeah, was, the next one you're gonna love. Oh. Nope. There it is. <laughs> Could have gone right into the thinker, it would have been easy. Yeah. Uh, no, nope, you went right into the stoner. <laughs> Someone wrote uh, on Twitter, Greg Proops, what is your favorite line from whose line? Like, that's a lot of lines to choose from. <laughs> You've done a lot of lines over the years. Yes, I have. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> on the show, too. Um, <laughs> But who's the, funny, the funniest one, mine. The okay. funniest one was uh, one that didn't get on the air. We were in England, and Tony Slattery, who was lovely, and on the British version, he was a gorgeous comedian. And uh, um, we were doing a Christmas improv, and we got to the manger, and he picked up the Christ baby and went and threw my crown and stamped on it. And I'm like, I knew that one would never get on the fucking show. And then the other one, my favorite line was, uh, and no one laughed at that, cause, and quite rightly, that's why it didn't get on the show. <laughs> But on the moment, imagine being uh, Stephen Fry, who's a brilliant English comic, uh, it was the worst things to say when meeting the Queen Mum. The worst thing to say when meeting the Queen Mum. So everybody says that, blah, blah, blah. You get Stephen Fry and he goes, whop some skull on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> whop some skull. And that's what made me fall over dead. Uh, and the fact that he's the most erudite comic of all time and that he did that heinous stick joke made me laugh. I guess those weren't the kind of answers everyone here was looking for. <laughs> 
not what anybody's looking for. With I think that question was so. What's your favorite line? And then you you had not only did you have a line, you had your favorite moment moment where a uh, the baby Jesus gets stomped on. <laughs> it's never going to be aired. I don't know why people would be upset about that. It's fine. <laughs> There was another one that was the worst thing to say at a funeral, and it was Tony Slaughter, and he went, he's not dead yet, and so <laughs> That one didn't go out either, but it was hilarious. <laughs> uh, 2,149 uh, nice Thank viewers you. out there. <laughs> All enjoying a nice toke, I am sure all trying to compete for the state that has the most people watching the show. Watch your eyes. <laughs> that was a good one. See, these are worth whatever we charge for them. What do they cost? Like 10 bucks and we'll mail one to you. And uh, totally worth it, because you can throw them up in the air and they come down. Wait, Super really? fun. Oh, oh. <laughs> It comes in hot sometimes, so. I'll only, I'll let you know when I'm about to start throwing. You'll have someone's eye out. Chris Christie is my number one public enemy. Oh. Yes. Because Nancy Grace, Nancy Grace can flap her Nancy Grace face uh, all over the place. Uh, <laughs> And, and it's just a joke, but a governor in this country, specifically Chris Christie, has publicly stated that he would crack down on states that have legalized marijuana if he were to become president of the United States. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Oh. Even non-pot smokers have got to see that that's ridiculous. Like, the states voted for it. Like, isn't he a Republican? That He's a Nazi. <laughs> Christie is a Nazi, and you know and I know it. He's too. That's not. That's obviously not progressive. Anybody who knows anything knows which going in the right direction. Anybody fighting it is, is a moron. So therefore, he's evil, and um, I'm done. <laughs> You really think you're not going to... Isn't he too big to be a Nazi? <laughs> <laughs> he lost some weight. Did it, but I he don't think he lost Nazi of... weight. I didn't bring up... <laughs> There's not a lot of fat people. I think they were like before the Jews. Like no, they got I rid of the like, fat people. I feel like they have some fat. <laughs> That's an interesting theory. Like that was first. <laughs> fat, fat. Hey, but like, like that was like they, name a fat Nazi. Goebbels. There's that one. <laughs> there's the one in Hogan's Heroes that General says Burkholm. I know nothing. Oh. Oh. Schultz. And there's the one in Blues Brothers. Blues but Brothers that, is a fat that, gay Nazi. That was a Chicago Nazi. That doesn't count. <laughs> and the word out on the street was that in the locker room Hitler was fat. <laughs> <laughs> He was? <laughs> what street was that the word on? <laughs> just, uh, just where people knew. Fat, like, big guy. I feel, uh, a lot in. I feel bad. I'm going to save all of you guys from this Hitler conversation. <laughs> I think we changed the topic entirely. <laughs> I feel bad for these politicians, right? Like, they have to say shit. I, I, Chris Christie probably does not give a shit if you smoke weed. But because he has to say, like, okay, I'm going to be your fucking, I'm going to be the Republican guy. No weed, no yeah. But no he's not, but that doesn't, God that's not falling in line with what all the Republicans are doing right now. Yeah. Listen to the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, I didn't know there was more, Doug. Shut up and listen. <laughs> <laughs> the poor will report to a government center each morning. <laughs> to make themselves well, known. But wait, there's more, though. Uh, political analysts consider this a bad move politically because a majority of Republicans and a majority of U.S. adults now support pot legalization. Yeah, so... But also, you know, like when Obama was getting elected, he was, like, pretty much saying, oh, everyone's going to get weed when I get elected. And then as soon as he got in, they were like, ah, we're going to not do that. And then he turned into, like... Big weed. I'd like to know where he said, everybody's going to get weed. <laughs> I was paraphrasing. Uh, I think that 
<laughs> I think that Greg, it, you tell him. I think it was a plank in the Democratic platform, but it didn't make it through final committee, so they never heard it. It's not nobody's you are ever smart. had. <laughs> it's, it's all about confidence. Politicians, politicians have never been forced to stand up for, before or against no, marijuana now they have in a to. big way, yeah. and now they now they don't even have to really. All they got to do is just be like, yeah, it'll, it'll bring money to the state, whatever. Right. Yeah. You know, they can just act very blasé about it. State's and choice. Also, state's right, uh, from man. a Republican point of view, if everything is so state oriented with these people, like the uh, 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 abortion and guns, they're very oh gosh, the state should have control over who does it. Then why not marijuana? Exactly. You know what I mean? Why make an overarching federal thing yeah. about it when you're not bothered to make the streets safe or let women have oh any fucking health care? Are you saying Republicans have double standards? I'm saying that. <laughs> yes. In, in, that would have been more succinct, yeah. <laughs> just, they, just, they just have to be the political opposite. Like, they don't like their own ideas because yeah. they have to be the opposite of whatever the other side's doing. I think, I right, think right Megan? I'm a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. But like, what if like, you were just like shitting all over my party and I just sat here and took it? I ha would have had to say something, so I'm not, but I just, for all the people who hypothetically would have been me, I felt the need to defend them. <laughs> that, le that leads to an interesting question. If anybody on the panel has an answer, uh... What is the question? <laughs> or should we answer? Here it first? comes. Is this Jeopardy? Um, Republican potheads, name one. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Steve? <laughs> Larry? That guy, Eric? Does, does, Kel does, does Kelsey Grammer smoke weed? Mm, he used to. I hope Craig so. T. Nelson? <laughs> Dennis Miller. You. I think pot, uh, drugs are not limited to uh, liberal people. That's a huge yeah. misnomer. Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, but but, but Republicans keep it under their hat more or whatever, I, I guess. I don't even know what the advantage of being a Republican anymore is. It's just like, well, in California, like where it used to be like the war party. Well, like the Democrats have been, have been as much as the war party. It used to be the I was just uh, money party. They, 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 yeah. you know, Obama came in, fixed everything. I know it's a very broad statement. I was just an Alabama. Can we just well, no, well, 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 it's but, better? But Todd has something. Todd's killing each other. Todd's dying to add something. Todd, what do you want to say about this? No, I, I got some. <laughs> I was just in Alabama, and there is an advantage to being a Republican down there, and that's what fucking keeps you alive. <laughs> so, so it's geographical? Dude, they use Democrat as an insult down there. Not, I was just there, they're like, this fucking Democrat. I was like, yeah, yeah, I voted for him twice. Eat dicks. <laughs> I think that's what, they go there for security, you know? Because you get, to be, you get to be afraid of everything, and you get to have enemies. And they're real palpable enemies, and it's real palpable fear. And I think that's important to a lot of people. It makes them feel better. Fear, or, fear of change? Yeah, yeah. Because if, if you know, uh, there's going to be women president. There's there's already been a black president. There's going to be abortion. There's going to be legal marijuana. All these things. There's going to be gay marriage. All this is going to happen no matter how much people stamp their feet and grind their little fists into their hips. That's, and most of them before this show is over. Always the small majority, that, like there's always a small group of what I perceive to be intelligent people that have to drive the masses to see what they knew early on. And they always fucking win. The small majority always plows past the minority. That must make them think, how the fuck do they do it? How does 25% get their way? Because they're smarter. Like, that's like the way that happens. Right, thank you. No, does that make sense? <laughs> no, like, eventually, it's everything money, that money. they are fighting always money. loses. You think after a while, they go, maybe we just don't fucking know anything. Money. Like, we lose every time. But We're the news right. doesn't help that, because they focus on the extremists, and then the, all the people that were like, I would think that, but I'm crazy would watch the news and see the crazy people, and they go, well, they believe it, so now I can believe it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know that the news is the news. It's more of like a, hey, guys, guess what happened? Yeah, but Every hour, it's like a different yeah. person being like, you're not going to believe this shit. <laughs> and this is, is all my personal spin yeah. on it. And uh, then you end up having these, you know, elections that don't mean anything. See, now I'm high. Now I'm really high. Elections don't mean anything. That's usually when someone says that. <laughs> Right That's when you know right. you've gotten there. That's right after you're like, we need to get back on the gold standard. <laughs> <laughs> don't 
Dr. Sanjay Gupta. Where? Yeah. Where? <laughs> yeah, that's why I got up. I'm saving a chair for him. Uh, do you know who Sanjay Gupta is, Todd Glass? Yeah, he's the uh, medical correspondent on some news station. I think. Yeah, no, yeah, positive. Well, yeah, CNN. What did I say? That's some news station. Well, I was right. <laughs> That's what CNN stands for, of course. <laughs> hey, it almost, it almost uh, does. Almost, if only two of the letters were wrong. Close enough. <laughs> um, <laughs> better than no letters. Gupta was against legalization just a few years ago, but he's changed quickly since 2013. And his column points to many ways the pot conversation is evolving across the nation in a short period of time. He says we should legalize medical marijuana. We should do it nationally. Oh, and we should do it now, Todd Glass. What do you have to say? <laughs> oh, that was good. Why? I, shouldn't they let go of calling it medical marijuana? Because as a full-grown adult, I'm, I don't want to act like, oh, my, my shoulder hurts. Like, it's so, imagine if you had to get beer. Oh, I have an inner ear infection. Can I get beer? <laughs> It's, it's embarrassing already. Fucking let us. It's not. I don't ha need it medically. Okay. So no. I just have it as marijuana. I, I, no, it's got to be legalized for medical. All right. Ooh. That was. I think that was the way in. You know. Like now they call it in Colorado and Washington. It's, it's recreational, and that's what it has yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the same as alcohol. The same as cigarettes. Whatnot. Why? Why ghettoized too? Just because. Uh, all of a sudden, you're left brain and you don't want to fight and shit. That's what I call my motorhome, a recreational vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> my motorhome. I had to make up having a motorhome say, for that one. I love that you have a motorhome. Yeah, I have a motorhome. Can we have adventures? <laughs> Get your head back in, Todd Glass. He always sticks his head out when we go around the turns. <laughs> And then Meg Megan's like, everybody shut up, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's in the back, fulminating. Turn this fucking news station off, it's all bullshit. <laughs> and Chris is chasing after the mobile home, going like this every few feet. <laughs> Doug's like, Doug's like, soup's on, ding, and whatnot. We all have little mugs and Ritz crackers and shit. Oh my gosh. The recreational vehicle with Doug Benson. Tuesdays on VHS. On VH1 Classic. Doug, if you take. There's no way I would cook for everybody because I think having a second skill is so offy. <laughs> Doug, you have to have a show where you get a tour bus and bring five people. That would yeah. be fucking great. Oh, that would oh, yeah. be so great to be stuck sure. on a bus with you. <laughs> hey, I, I didn't say me. <laughs> Here's the first no, day with Could I? <laughs> the first day with Todd on the bus. These cushions are all wrong. No, why not? Everything's that? wrong. Look at the lighting here. It's harsh. It's in my eye. I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> I can see when we're leaving for the tour, running outside the bus like an old timey movie. <laughs> Man, I like that. <laughs> That's actually fun. <laughs> Here you go. No, thank you. No, you're welcome. <laughs> Daniel, go ahead and take a hit off of that. Thank you. I'll wait for it. <laughs> Doug, that is a good idea. You should do that. What's a good idea? The recreational oh, vehicle. He's thinking about the RV now. The There's RV. no way I'm yeah. going to go on tour with you, Todd. I <laughs> If you really want to go on if, tour in an RV any, like anyway, anywhere, yeah, that, I would want to do it anyway. I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like your Who dream. I think it's great. Who it's doesn't like, want to go on a tour bus? Everybody, wouldn't you want to go? That would be fun. Everybody but the person who yeah. this whole project requires. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are up for this, Doug. It's not about you anymore. <laughs> For the common good of the one outweighs the many needs of the sort yeah. of those. Yeah. Three musketeers. Oh, I worry them. Die. All for one. No. One for Doug. I worry them. I Doug, worry. I, I worry, Todd. One for one and I all, worry, all for one. Daniel. What? I worry. <laughs> what, do worry? what do you worry about? I worry that the driver's going to fall asleep and we're all going to die. No, no. we do it in the they back lounge. They sleep all day. That we would never leave the parking lounge. lot. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the tour. We never leave our party line. Because we got so high, but we just, just get live high, it and I like it. Decide to try again tomorrow. Yeah, we decide. We yeah, can go tomorrow. Because if we all, because if we all smoke inside of it, then he's gonna get hot box and he's gonna make him sleepy, no, no, and we're no, gonna no. die. We get sleepy. I take I've five hours. I smoked a lot energy. of weed on a lot of two of us. <laughs> Thank you. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. It's it's there's a little door. It's a curtain, but it works. Your, your brain is not my brain, and I can't wrap my head around it. Plus, there's like a, I can't sleep while the while they're driving. There's a back lounge. Yeah. I sit next to the driver, and like every time he looks like he might nod off, I just <laughs> fart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Todd was laughing before I even got to him. I knew exactly what you got to the fart part. Why is that bad I'm laughing? Because I, I could have done an alternate ending to that. I just sit next to the driver the whole time with an air horn and just blow it every few minutes. <laughs> Air horns, like, air horns are my favorite thing. Like you, like then you always make friends They're with the so driver. Sudden. But then you're like you, you feel bad because then you have to go out and have a great time. And then he's like, you know what I mean? The sound, like, hey, the sound out of an air I horn doesn't start. It's just happen. It just goes. It doesn't lead up. It's just, it's just immediate. I know, but are you gonna blow an air horn in here later to get us? No, but I was really, I was thinking that earlier today that it would be fun if I had an air horn and just after I got everybody really high, I just reached over and blew it. But. I feel like people like too many people like listen to this with their earbuds or whatever. Yeah. And no matter how much we ride the volume, it would probably be startling to somebody in their cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hurt nobody. No, I just, just want to have some fun. Uh, Todd, do you want to play a game? I'll try, yes. Uh. <laughs> Someone does not have faith in you. I'm gonna try my, uh, According to a new Bloomberg poll, what percentage of U.S. adults think that recreational pot will be legal nationwide within the next 20 years? How many people think it will be legalized? Mm -hmm. uh, Out of uh, one to 100 percent of U.S. adults. 75 percent. Hopefully, when people can put aside their own views with what's going to happen, so even though they don't want it to happen, will it happen? They're probably going to go, yeah. So I'd say 75% Daniel, of shorter answer, please. I, you just barely got that joke in because my answer was literally, you just beat me by a second with it. Uh, I said 75% of the people think it's going to be legalized in 20 years. But I still many of them really believe it. I want yeah. the answer to this. I asked 90%. There's an answer, right? There is an answer, right? Yeah. Right? I hope, yeah. Can it's my there. answer have a coda? <laughs> That's a music joke. We'll find out when we get to the end. Wait, what's your? Do you have a guess? Oh uh, no, it's Daniel's next. We're going. Oh, ninety percent. We're going in order, like, huh? Ninety. Ninety percent. I'm gonna say one dollar. I should have repeated like. <laughs> Chris is going one percent. One dollar. Classic. <laughs> Price is right move. Ecuador. <laughs> what was the question? Was How it what much? coastal nation is at the top of South America? No. <laughs> No. See, that, that, that must have been Ashi Marud, this one. <laughs> that must have just been you and Todd chatting backstage. No, I, I don't think. It, I think it's a, a, a majority, but not a huge one. I think it's like fifty-five percent kind of thing. Why is where's Megan fall after all I this? I feel like it's around. I mean, I want to be optimistic. Let's say sixty-five percent. Uh, I think Greg is our winner. Because wow, comes in at fifty-eight percent. He did. You got him. Yeah, and Greg was closest, <laughs> closest without going over. Obviously, the smartest man in the world. Someone in this room is having a birthday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doug. I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses on. Where are you? <laughs> I can neither see nor hear you. That question Happy wasn't birthday. whether they thought it should be. Their que that question was. Are you staying on seventy-five percent? Is what I want to know. No, I, I, yes, yes. I won't change my answer, but that's. I want to make How sure. How detailed was the survey? Okay, is was what it, no, God before I, I answer the question, are you sure you're not going to try to change your answer? No, I swear to God. I okay. Will. I have a specific question. <laughs> Where that question was, how, those, uh, asked how many people thought it would be legal? Not whether they thought it should be, whether it's going to be, right? Isn't that the question? 
whether it's, people think it's going to be. Yeah, yes. that's in 20 years. So you think about that. That's a lot of fucking wrong people. That's how delusional they are. It, we're going to be right. It's going to be legal. And they have no fucking idea, all those people. That's sad. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because they're that off. They're like, we know. It's not going to fucking go the other way. But, but there's the cool, still people going, no, it's not going to happen. The cool really? thing is. Really? Are you fucking, are you okay? <laughs> it's going to happen. Are you shitting me? Even if you don't think it should, you can't go, but it's fucking gone. No, you're just sticking with it. It ain't going to happen. That's sad. It's like, and then time will come and I can go, fuck. Fuck you, remember I said it? Take this and isolate. I'll stay healthy just in 20 years to shut Should I yell to people ass. that agree with me? <laughs> Tom is so mad at everybody that agrees with him. Well, I'm not talking to them. I'm hoping somebody else watches it to disagree. You think so? You think somebody's going to go this deep into the show? <laughs> Almost an hour in, they're just still waiting for somebody to say something that makes you go, you know what? Well, I wasn't Now I'm at thinking them. I was wrong about marijuana. No, no, no. I caught you in your lie. I wasn't yelling at them. I was yelling at the idiots that voted. I was what yelling if somebody at them. doesn't believe in, like, bespoken pod or, or the, the legalization of it, and then they go, I hear the show's pretty great, and they're all very nice people, and they're very understanding. I'll watch this. Doug Benson thing, and then they watch it, and then you start fucking yelling at them how stupid they are. Well, then he just pissed off like four people. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. And you were kidding, of course. And the cool thing yeah. is, in 20 yeah. years, that 42%, a lot of them will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if not just from age, then from stress, <laughs> from not smoking a bunch of pot. <laughs> Yeah, they don't, they don't break this thing down by age, so this could have just been people that happen to answer their phone. Yeah. You know, which makes it, makes it all old people. <laughs> Who takes surveys anyway? Come on. Everybody else gets out of them. You're, you're taking surveys from people that got caught. <laughs> so... <laughs> if you're not smart enough to dodge a survey, I don't want to know what the fuck you think. Uh, right. Or, or if you're that lonely where you're like, yeah! I got 10 minutes. Let's do this. <laughs> Governor Nathan Deal. <laughs> correct. Has. I think it's. Officially signed a bill that makes medical marijuana legal in Georgia. Just signed it. Yeah. Just made it happen. Yeah. But it's specifically, it's for cannabis oil to be used for very specific conditions, cancer, ALS, seizures, and a few other uh, severe, it says here, sever illnesses. So, like if you're missing an arm, <laughs> if it's a sever illness. It's like, it's like they know weed is so good, but they won't admit, they won't, it's so good, we can't legalize it. Because they know it's so good, because when they do legalize the medical marijuana, it's for people who like, they're really hooking them up. You know, cancer, ALS. What was the other one? Severe. Seizures. Seizures. Like, they're saving, they like feel so bad for like the dying people that they're giving them like Earth's mana, you know? <laughs> that proves it's good. Because you wouldn't fuck over dying people with you're the saying, law. Yeah, you're and saying, yeah. You're saying these people are special and they deserve something great. Yes. And we're going to give them this thing it's that we think everyone else wish. shouldn't get to have. It is. It's their make-a-wish, you know? It's the make-a-wish, you know? And I think that proves how nice it is. But here's how messed up it is, is I hope it gets to these patients that need it because it's a weird system where it's still illegal to grow it or buy it in the state of Georgia. So they have to basically have it transported from Colorado. Oh, so they have Colorado hooked Somebody's that up. gotta send them some from Colorado for free, then they can have it. And <laughs> carrying it across state lines is a crime. So the people that are empowered to do it by the state of Georgia have to commit a crime in order to do it. And it's highly decannabinized or whatever. They've taken a lot of the sting out of the oil that they want to let those patients use so that the high element is not the primary element. Greg, where were you on pot topics one through three? <laughs> <laughs> I have
happen to have read an article about it. Really nice addition there. Excellent color on that one. You're welcome. Uh, let's but see. Baby steps for Georgia, good for them. You know, baby steps. Sure. Look right? where they are, you know. Yeah, Look where they, they are. They should get weed just for living in Georgia. And if you, <laughs> you, 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 I'm not saying it's a bad state, but in August, fuck yeah. that. <laughs> You've been to Atlanta a lot. And I was no, I was just there, and in Athens, I uh, did a great deal of uh, smoking. It feels legal there. Yeah, it's really weedy in Georgia. I, I think they have yeah. you know, a cool scene. Yeah, nice people, good time. Yeah, it's not uh, the best weed, but it's weedy. <laughs> they don't even know. Uh, so they some stupid. Need, they need to uh, grow it organically in Georgia. Uh, they they can just make it happen through immaculate uh, whatever the growth. <laughs> Fuck, I really thought uh, you guys would know where I was going with that joke and start laughing. <laughs> but only proofs. I got off that train. No, you don't even fun. know what it was about. I, no, I like it. I'm still thinking about it. You know, like, you don't have to grow away. You don't have to have sex. It Look just at my happens. face. Look at I'm thinking about that joke. <laughs> yeah, it's not the right response at all. I Immaculate did. pollination or whatever. Fuck. Can we get yeah, another bag for that joke? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, 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 let's workshop it. Oh, Jesus. It's a shorty. It's a shorty. <laughs> I think that's best. Just give it to Greg. It's a shorty. Yeah. All right, you good, Daniel? Yeah, great. All right. I was, I'm was. i starting another pot topic. Does that woman with that sign go, work with us, or is she just really hot? <laughs> it just seems either necessary that or That would rude. be so great. <laughs> Don't forget, next live when we do, you guys, bring your own signs that say things like, <laughs> say things like two minutes and break. And, uh, but we do, thanks for spotting that, though. And uh, we're going to go to a break, and we'll, uh, we'll be right back. Adam Sandler, off stage. <laughs> Adam Sandler, yeah. it's good. Here it is. Thomas, <clears throat> Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Hey. Yeah, she walking in sweatpants, and she watering them plants, and she ordering food, cause she not in the mood to wash all them pants. Now she taking a bong hit, and she shaving her armpits. Now she looking for something that she wanna watch on Netflix. Tonight is the night I'm gonna by all these people who use my name for intolerance and oppression. And I was like, wow. And then he said, I want you to spread my message to the people. And I was like, me? No one's going to listen to me. We could get a couple legal paths, and we could just kind of riff, sit around the kitchen table. Let's work on this. And he was just staring at me like, I'm Jesus fucking Christ. Sit wow. down. Wow. <laughs> hey, Greg. Sit the hell down, guys. Todd Glass, this just in, from Twitter. Be nice, be nice. Someone named Ular. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> said it's called scleral hemorrhaging. Oh, there you go. I knew that's what it was, but I couldn't. It was right when you the my tongue. Give your, when you heave so violently, you give yourself black eyes. Thank you. Oh. Are the lights Oh, sure. Brighter? You thought I was making it up, you sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I had screeched the diseases. Oh, thank you. That is, I was trying to. Do the lights seem brighter to y'all? A little bit. That's what I was thinking. They mm. can come down for me, but it, you know, it is a broadcast. So. Well... 
Yeah, but well, so suddenly we needed to be. I shade. don't think they're bright. I just more said. brightly much, lit. Pretty Is that much an accident? Fancy. Oh, that might be the indica, my friends. Can I try that uh, pen again? Yeah, no, I don't. Well, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> 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 Don't be rude. No, there's the, That's if there's a go truck in the next, the highway next there, promo. You guys see a tree? <laughs> That's a classic. Well, we were passing time. the pot right here, and it was like Brian Regan's joke. If you're passing it this way, and I'm passing it that way, maybe we can just both keep it on our areas. Like, well, give me that truck, again. No, I'm not giving up on that. Well, with the jokes about it, the truck with the, with the wood. And they go, oh, you guys have wood? I was, I and when have you wood. see a truck with wood going down the highway, Brian Regan's joke is, and then you see a truck going down the other side of the highway the other way, that seems like a call could have prevented that. <laughs> you need wood over there? Well, we got wood over here. I didn't do his joke great. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> he's Brian, not I'm watching. <laughs> uh, like how's it going down there on the end, Megan? Hey. Hey. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. um, yep. This is great. <laughs> so there's this judge, this U.S. <laughs> District Judge named Kimberly J. Mueller. <coughs> And she made the decision that she would not overturn the scheduling of marijuana as a Schedule I drug. <coughs> Last year, she agreed to an extensive fact-finding hearing on the issue, uh, but she's decided that it didn't prove anything. So it's still Schedule I with meth, or no, meth is Schedule II. No, it's heroin. It's Schedule I with heroin. And cocaine, I think. Cocaine, yes. Yeah. Cocaine. Cocaine. <laughs> wow. She left it open to future courts or Congress so can change the classification, but she won't do it at this if time. You think the problem is that wow. these Bad people, judge. Uh, that's a serious these problem. people have never done cocaine and meth and weed. I think like Wait, if they just try them should, all, you should be able to like have like a Okay, so you did all this, you're obviously smart, so you want to be a judge. Yeah. You're going to have to like Thank get fucked up. <laughs> so you know the difference. You lose a lot of judges to meth. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. How'd you get addicted <laughs> to meth? I graduated law school. <laughs> most, most of them already aren't wearing pants. <laughs> like Walter White on that show that time. <laughs> See, there's and our the, final the, pot the topic. Movie. Of the last two. Right there. Final two pot, to final three pot topics. <laughs> There's been a lot of stuff happening. I'm sorry that it's been so long between shows, but uh, the next one's going to come up uh, much sooner. <coughs> How you doing? <coughs> can, can you, you, can I get you some coffee? No, coffee? <laughs> Um, no, we don't take any of the coughing out. It's a realistic uh, portrayal of, <laughs> of what happens. You could dub it with other sounds, though. <laughs> <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Or like quack. Those, those Batman cut twos. Like, mm -hmm. zoinks! <laughs> wow. Did you, did you see the new Batman uh, Superman trailer? My eyes would be a good one. <laughs> yeah, that helps. That helps. Because <laughs> you're coughing so hard, you're giving yourself scleral hemorrhaging. <laughs> Just slowly, they get blacker and blacker. I think I watched every season of ER, and uh, the only thing I know is scleral hemorrhaging. <laughs> but there's been an epilepsy study. And uh, there's a liquid form of marijuana that may help people with severe epilepsy. Uh, again, the word sever. <laughs> if you have sever epilepsy. Uh, is that where the epilepsy calls the sever? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll help people with severe epilepsy. It'll help them get high. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they still have seizures, they just go with it, man. the dead CD. We're doing this. <laughs> Quick, put me on the Bucking Bronco. I might break a record. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want you know what? You don't even want turn it, it on. I'll buck the Bronco myself. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow, you're a maniac. <laughs> so yeah, participants, uh, their seizures decreased by 54% in a study. So that's neat. And then... Good to hear. I would put it above neat. <laughs> the American Journal of Public Health, the old AJPH, <laughs> published a new study that shows that children suspended from school for marijuana violations actually increase their likelihood of using more pot. Yeah, Whoa. what are you going to do for three days? It makes sense. Yeah, you're not, you're totally not you at school. You can't get it from the guy who bought it. It's easier to smoke pot when you're suspended. <laughs> Bye, Mom. I'll see you when you get home from work. <laughs> yeah. This I hate being suspended. Yeah. <laughs> This is, that's a real obvious one to me. That seems like it's an easy fix. Yeah. Just teach them. Yeah. Keep Don't them in a sustain. classroom and teach them stuff. Yeah. Keep them. Make Force them, them to do late. that. Yeah. More teaching. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Nevada is in on this in an interesting way because they've announced they've introduced a bill that would allow pets to use pot. <laughs> No. It would, it would allow pet owners to get marijuana for their pet if a vet diagnoses an illness that pot could help. Oh my god, my it's fucking for the dog pet. has glaucoma. <laughs> my, my bird's got glaucoma, can I get another eight? <laughs> my, that'd be hilarious. Please. It's for my dog, man. <laughs> I love my dog. Yeah. Yeah, but these are brownies. Yeah, but still. He like... <laughs> I'm a dog walker. They all got it. Just give it. Ironically, a dog ate his prescription. <laughs> it was another dog. It was eaten by a jealous dog. <laughs> Yeah, the dog, you could find it, right? It seems, yeah. But what if I wonder what, like, what the research is going to be there. Like, you have to find out if it has any positive effect. Like, how do you on get a dog? On a dog. Oh, yeah, like, you don't do you... want your dog to get the munchies. <laughs> <laughs> but you also, what if your dog's just faking it so we can sell to other dogs? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching The Wire. <laughs> This is just a uh, this is just a provision that's part of a larger bill that has a bunch of stuff in it, and uh, a thing I like that's in it is removing fines for drivers who have marijuana in their system, because somebody could, you have it in your system for 30 days, it doesn't mean you were high at the time you get pulled over, and then. Uh, they're also setting up required. Wait, right now you get a ticket if it's in your system? You can get like I a think DUI, so, yeah. Right? You get it's like a DUI, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's so like crazy. I said, Even weed is in, in your LA? system for a long time. Now this is in Nevada. I don't I don't know what the rules are in LA. But places that are legalizing it, like states that are legalizing it, they're trying to treat it like alcohol, but that's hard to do because you can't really right. do a quick test by the side of the road. And aren't there some studies that say that it doesn't really impair your, aren't like, aren't yeah. fatal crashes down? In Irvine, down? California, they did a, you know, driving around cones test, and uh, yeah, pot, people that are high are you pretty good drivers. You can do a test, yeah. you just have like a fake mustache on you, <laughs> then you just look up at the guy, and then you go, mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you like Did you eat a marijuana car. cookie, Daniel? <laughs> Did you fill a marijuana pipe with joints and smoke it? <laughs> um, That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, oh, and the other thing they want to do as part of this bill is set up required training for pot shop owners. Which that seems like an okay thing to get them all, you know, have the same. All right, scenario. everybody, get in line. We're going to talk about what's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is weed. <laughs> I have a question. Okay. Is that weed? <laughs> Once again, everyone, this is weed. <laughs> I got a question. Yes. Is there going to be weed? <laughs> like, can we have weed? All right, guys, we need to talk. Later. Uh, we're having a great time here on... Uh... There's a good line between, like, somebody that kind of walks you through it, and, you know, and then there's, it stops to being helpful at one point. Right? Or what, I mean, like... you're a guy that's profound in weed is going to be a stoner. So he's like, hey, guys, yeah. You guys... 
is weed, man. It's weed. And then that, that's key if you get that from the weed. And then it's, it's just, it's all weed. And these black eyes aren't from scleral hemorrhaging, man. No. My old lady got mad at me last night. <laughs> This new sativa, it's called, it's called scleral hemorrhaging. <laughs> We're having a great time here, of course, on, uh, on Grateful Dead was here, and um, I would like to uh, do you guys' plugs right now, because uh, I know this last segment, we still got a pretty good amount of time. <laughs> But uh, it seems like we're all pretty easily distracted, so I thought if I started now, uh, we'd get all your plugs in in a reasonable amount of time. Greg Poops. <laughs> Jojo Poops? Casey, Casey, it sounded like Casey and Jojo saying your name. I don't know what that means. All right. <laughs> What's your Twitter name? At Greg Pro Ops? Yeah, I, I can't spell it, but it's at gregproops.com. Yeah. Good job. Not, I sh sh does any comic have .org? Wouldn't that be so like NPR douchey to be like <laughs> gregproops.org? I don't, I think you, I don't, you don't have do to it be for the money. You have to be a nonprofit to do org, I think. <laughs> Oh, I could do that. <laughs> Thanks for waking up, Tom. Uh, uh, nice to nice Tom to Glass that. is on the uh, No Refunds tour. He's going to be performing at the Comedy Attic in Bloomington, Indiana, May 14th through 16th. Love that place. It's a good place. It's called the Attic because it's upstairs. Uh, can I, can I, oh, so can I ask not a ironic. question here for just one second? The, uh, the name of your tour is hilarious. The No, no it's not really. That. It's not the No Refund Tour? No. Is that somebody? That would be a good idea. Doug just said the no. No, I made it up for because I think that's what his oh. tour. Oh be my called. God! It's a great idea. Yeah. Right? <laughs> they call the tour no refund. No refund. Like, <laughs> every night, come and get me. That's. Such a <laughs> I thought you were fucking doing it. That made no, me that's cry laughing. Idea, but I did think of it first. It's mine. You you saw yeah. the television. <laughs> It's your show. It's your show where you just come out and yeah. uh, you come out on stage, a little drunk, a little high, and uh, just go off and have fun. Just right. go off. I'm tired of holding. Back. Do what you already do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to hold back when you're at uh, Portland. When you're in Portland, at uh, Helium, it's a gas. Uh, <laughs> June 11th through the 13th. Uh, you're going to be at the Chicago Comedy Explosion. That and sounds I don't mean to brag. that sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, uh, you came in late for work yesterday. What's the, what was the matter? Oh my God, I had a Chicago Comedy Explosion. <laughs> It was not funny at all. Yeah, that, that explains why my balls are black. <laughs> um, comedy shouldn't explode. <laughs> laughing, laughing Skull in Atlanta, October 8 through 10. What? Todd Glass, everybody. That's ToddGlass.com. That's Twitter. And by the way, real quick, uh, Notice cities that have food trucks are always more progressive. They go together somehow. I don't know why. Not People, quick enough. Not quick enough. <laughs> I, can I tell my favorite Todd Glass story? Well, no. Yes. I was, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know why I answered the, Doug. The no. first, Wait, time I, I'm sorry. first time I opened for Todd Glass, or the only time I opened for Todd Glass, I'm doing my set and I walk, I'm scanning, and there's Todd, dead center, back of the room, pants to his ankles, just watching me. I had my boxers on. Had his boxers. Yeah, he wasn't a pervert. Yeah, yeah, his comedy <laughs> underwear. Todd, what 
do the food trucks have to do with anything? It, you know, you, you, even if you don't, I, thank you, by the way. Why did you say cities with food trucks? Because it, usually when a city has food trucks, it's a sign of they get it artistically, and usually artistic people make better choices. So yeah, it's like once you get the food trucks, you'll get other shit. But why, are you, doing propaganda, but why are you doing propaganda for food trucks? Well, I'm just saying it's odd that it goes together. It's a weird thing, like, oh, Portland, they're sort of, they, you know, certain areas, they get it. Is there, is there no truth to what I'm saying? I think there is. I bet there's somebody going, I know what he's fucking saying. I do. The cities with burning crosses on the lawns aren't getting it. Thank you. There you go. But what the fuck? He understood. Right? They don't have food trucks in those dumb fucking, right? They don't have, oh, let's go. Food trucks, it's disgusting. We go to an Applebee's. I thought of a, uh, I thought of a longer name for your tour, Todd. <laughs> I think you should call it the No Refunds Rain or Shine tour. <laughs> uh, that could be part two. Yeah, because sometimes Todd will do comedy in the back of a truck. <laughs> but only in progressive cities. Yes. <laughs> back of a food truck. Be sure to, yeah, be sure to, uh, to pre-order Greg Proops' book, smartestbookintheworld.com is the place to go for that. And go to gregproops.com for tour dates, podcasts, and more. Get around. Yes. Let's hear it for Megan Nuringer, everybody. She's got a film called Slow Learners that's premiering at the Tribeca Film Festival this Monday, 420. That audience is gonna be baked. Huh? They're gonna be. <laughs> That audience is going to be super big. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. That was awesome. Tribeca Film Festival. Tribeca, yeah. Uh, Chris Porter, everybody. To my left. You can see him when I'm flipping through on my Netflix. I see him fly through there, ugly and angry. And he's going to be at Hilarities in Cleveland, April 23 to 26. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Improv, April 30th through May 3rd. And go bananas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You're just going to check into a mental institution. <laughs> institution. Uh, go bananas is Cincy, uh, May 28th to 31st. And. <laughs> A serious question. Again, does she work here? <laughs> nope, she's just one of those religious fanatics who walks around with a sign that says end on it. <laughs> well, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should go out on tour with Todd. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good with the setups. <laughs> That's what people say about Todd of the comedy yeah, industry. Great, great with the setup. <laughs> Too bad he's alone out there. <laughs> um, it's fine. <laughs> it just hangs there. Daniel Kino, you guys. Daniel Kino. Are you going to do an album called Kino Speaker? <laughs> See, I proved it's a good idea. Uh, also going to be at one of the Helium Comedy Clubs. It's a gas in uh, Buffalo. the Buffalo location. That's a nice club. You'll be there next week. You got a film called Bad Night out this summer. Don't talk to him while I'm doing his plugs, Todd. Does it, does it look like I'm talking? I don't know what it looks like you're doing. Like, the commercial for the headache medicine is down the hall. <laughs> Angst or something. Yeah, there. he's really he's Thinking. really deep in something. Something serious is going on. What if he's just trying to keep his eyebrows on? <laughs> what time do you need to get him back to Bert or Ernie? Hey, by the way. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yeah, I couldn't pick one. No better feeling than to be paranoid and have people laughing at you for the wrong reason. It feels great. No, so, no, no, no. Hey, my Todd, heart. they're laughing with you and how ridiculous uh, it is to laugh. <laughs> um, and Daniel Kino uh, is Daniel Kino, K I N N O, on Twitter. Did I get everybody? Yep. Yes? 
Yeah. All the oh my plugs. <laughs> What's Sorry, the shit? we're out of time. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Just gonna be in Denver. What you need to plug? Tuesday is it? I kind of have an idea what I need to plug. Uh, tomorrow I'm doing Douglas Movies at 420 at Cobbs in San Francisco. And then tomorrow night, 945, I'm doing a stand-up comedy show called The Countdown to 420 Show, where when it gets to midnight, we count down the last 10 seconds and go, yay, it's 420. And then we all go out on the street and smoke. <laughs> and, and people get hit by a cable car. <laughs> Uh, 420, I'm doing three sold out shows in Denver. 421, Eugene, Oregon for my fifth annual 421 show. And I'll be in Fort Wayne on uh, uh, Indiana, May 7th. DougLovesMovies.com for all my dates. Ah. You can get Doug Loves, Doug Loves Being High. Uh, <laughs> you can get Doug merch, cards for high manity uh, by going to bit.ly slash Doug merch. Oh, and we also have some stuff in the lobby here at UCB. And I'm going to throw some of these uh, at you guys. But right now, yeah. I think we're good on time. I saw a sign that said it should be over, but I think we still got like five more minutes to do a 90-minute show, I think, right? I think just Don't shows. run out of tape, camera guys. <laughs> Who's on? <laughs> it's time for game time. Hey guys. Oh boy. Hey, okay. Do you think Todd's ready for this? I was actually really uh, jealous of all the smoking you guys were doing, so I brought a joint for myself here. A very obviously realistic looking joint. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> How is that? That's not possible. So I'm just gonna, I was gonna take this back into the back and smoke it. Oh, you should do that. <laughs> Todd, where are you going? Fuck. <laughs> He's a fucking narc, you idiots. <laughs> that guy was a... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> right, hold on, hold on. Here's what fucking happened. I told him I'd do the bit, but I didn't want to take a bottle over the head. He did that without asking me. That's bullshit. He swore to me. I'm glad he's fucking dead. <laughs> no, I'm glad you're dead. You deserve to die. I didn't want that. No, don't feel bad. He got his punishment. God works, <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. I just feel bad that he's mic'd up to say seven words. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a guesstimate. <laughs> he's Thank not. Yes, Todd. I feel like I have to go. He's not really dead. Does they, that no, you shouldn't have killed him, Todd. That was wrong. No, he deserved it. We did it. It's a snuff well, comedy tonight. It, we really did. It, it seemed like he was dead, and then he rose up and hit you in the head with a bottle, <laughs> like Jesus did. <laughs> That'll happen a lot in movies, is the good guy will take a shot, you know, but he'll still be alive long enough to kill the bad guy and then die. So I think he's dead. <laughs> Looks like he's breathing. <laughs> I think he's really dead. Wait, are we? I think if he's, if he's breathing, we should try to save him. <laughs> if he's, but I think he's dead. If he's dead, take his wallet. He's the audience pretending he's dead. Don't take his wallet. Don't take his wallet. Do it before he voids his bowels. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when they die. I don't think it's void, though. I will make my bowels non-existent. <laughs> I'd look it up. I'm pretty sure it's boys. Evacuate. If he hasn't been on CSI yet, he should be. <laughs> that is the best. He'd be great thing. at being the body. One more time for all of my guests, you guys. <laughs> Megan Nuringer, Craig Poops, Todd Glass, Daniel Kino, Chris Porter, Gabe the, magi Gabe the Late Magician. <laughs> <laughs> That's for Gabe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, poor may little, I, poor may, little out for Gabe. May I make a suggestion for your next episode? Oh, please. That you have a seance so we can talk to Dave. <laughs> I think it's Gabe. Is it Gabe? Uh, Gabe, I meant. Oh. <laughs> we can talk to Dave now. <laughs> There was such a reaction to talk to Dave, though. Like, what did you guys think? 
Who did you think this Dave was? Watch your eyes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Nice. Really hard. Oh. Oh, that guy up there. I don't seat. know my own strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should just start kicking him in his face. <laughs> Make it Real nice. 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 I wonder if people watching at home are enjoying this part. <laughs> I didn't expect all you guys to get so quiet during the uh, card tossing. I love that he has not cracked. He's totally no. good. He's so committed. He's that guy has like half the show. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I'm feeling what it's like to be like in a fraternity. <laughs> he might be dead, but let's keep playing this game where we try to hit him with cards. Damn. So is this like Weekend at Doug's or whatever? Based on Weekend at Bernie's, the movie reference that no one got just now? Because it was from the ancient times when movies were powered by steam? It was back during a time when sometimes you just gotta say, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, where's the card that says when the next show is? Holy shit. What did I do with it? Oh, no. Oh, who knew that already? He's What time on April 23rd? Uh, that is the best. It is 2.15. 2.15 Pacific time, April 23rd. We'll see you then. Thanks a lot, you guys.